so I'm here using the HoloLens for the first time. I can... Uh... <laughs> hey, so who are you? Okay, so you have the live stream in the back. So when you have a look at, at the wall, for example, here, yeah. you see some holograms. Ooh. Yeah, on right. It's on the wall, right here. It's on the wall, right here. What can I do to it? So, have a look a little bit lower. You see the nice lady. Yeah. Can I so, fight? no, not fight, but you see a white dot. Yeah. This white dot is your cursor. So, look at the uh, young lady, and I will do not <laughs> air tap. So, air tap. Yeah, click it. Oh, only one. Only one. Okay. And she will yeah. start to dance for you. Nice. So, let's see the live stream. So, you could think this is a hologram. So you Walk around now yeah. and have a look at some from different view. Huh? All right. So, is it an Intel processor in here, right? Yes, that's right. Is it yeah. my name? Uh, no, uh, the Intel processor is here on the side. Uh, on this uh, side, on the other side is the actual the battery pack. <laughs> and I can go off to the menu. I can talk to it, right? Yes, you can. So let's let's make such an application. You see, on top is a Hollow Heart application. Yeah. So click on this menu. So we um, click up. Yeah. Is to open this application. Yeah, so here and it makes two steps back that you see the heart. Now you can use your voice commands. For example, hide instructions. Hide instructions. Very good. Oh, you did it. Yeah. yeah. Then beat. Beat. Yeah. Come on. It's a heart. Nice. So uh, and you know, smaller and bigger. Yeah. Smaller and bigger. Bigger. Right. bigger. 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 Get bigger. Now you can go inside the heart. Get inside the heart. Uh, no, you can go inside. It's a hologram. <laughs> oh, nice. That's really cool. It's Unity. It is Unity, yes. Exactly. It's nice. based in Unity. All right. Let me take it off. That's great. So how much it cost? At the moment, it's three two ninety nine uh, euro uh, uh, for the developer version. Uh, are people <laughs> able to buy this? Yes, it's uh, available on the Microsoft Store, so you can directly buy it. It's pre-installed Windows 10 on it. It's a Windows 10 device. So this is this is the, the computer. So this is the, the the CPU with the whole graphic processors. And this is the battery pack. Is it possible to do this on a Qualcomm CPU, an ARM CPU? Not yet. It's programmed to leave a, a special Intel CPU. It's a cherry trail, by the way. Uh, so it's an Intel one, but there's a whole graphic processor uh, all, all is, there is in as well. A program part of it that's been delayed or some, something that was supposed to come out but it's delayed to 2019 or what is that? Yeah, there will be uh, uh, the, the next versions then uh, also available, so, but uh, yeah, be surprised what's, what's next then, the cool. next version. Let me check around the booth, what's here? Okay, so, uh, uh, can I, hello, so who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Kiki and uh, I'm with uh, Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft booth here at Embedded World 2017. So there's a big Microsoft booth here with lots of demos. That's right. Uh, lots of things happening around here. So what are we looking at here? So can you take us through the demo, please? Hello. Uh, hi, Hello. who are you? Yes, I'm Sabrina from Microtronics. Uh, what are you showing here? We have here our Rapid M2M module inside this um, housing. What is the chip? Is it this? This one, yes. Uh, what is the CPU here? Silicon Labs, this is yes, a ARM, ARM Cortex M. Yes, yes, of course. And what um, can you do? We measure the speed and also the reaction time here. So you have to ride the bike and also put the button very fast. If one of those two get yellow. And how does it work with uh, Microsoft? Is it on Windows 10 IoT? The server is a Windows server. We Windows server? Yes. So it's going over the Azure, Azure, everything, this the cloud, is, no. all this kind of stuff. All right. Is this a real product or is it just prototype? Are you going to launch this? It's a it's a real the, the module is a real product. This is just a game demonstration demo. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Cool. And then you have lots of other demos. Let's walk yeah, around here. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of partners, right? Yes, lots of partners. Lots of partners. It's great cool demos from a lot of uh, our partners. So uh, let's walk around uh, yes. here. For example, there's a uh, Toradex. Uh, yes. Hey, can I interview you? Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, so who are you? Toradex, right? Okay, yeah, we're from Toradex, right? Yeah, yeah. So what are you showing here with, with Microsoft? We're actually showing a, a cloud demo that's uh, the interactivity between different kind of modules and operating systems. We have here Windows Embedded Compact, Windows C running, we have here Windows 10 IoT Core on a Tegra 3, NVIDIA Tegra 3. And we have here um, a Palis IMX6 that actually runs on Linux with the Qt user interface. So you can, uh, if you want to get out one of the cars from the parking lot, you can uh, select which car you want to get out. You have a card here to pay. Ah, pay now. 
I hold the card here. This system now tells the cloud, okay, you can uh, get the car out of the parking. Yeah. If you move it here, the barrier opens, so yeah. you can get out of the parking. All right. If you... so, yeah. so, sorry, uh, uh, you were saying there's uh, different types of uh, uh, platforms from Microsoft. So there's an IoT Core, and the other ones you were running? That's uh, Wins and Better Compact 2013. So how much different, what is the difference between those? So, uh, the, the Compact version actually is more for smaller devices. It's a real-time OS. You can use um, the Windows 10 IoT Core. is a little bit more high-end, it's quite new, it's maybe not really production ready as well. So this is kind of like Cortex-M, potentially Cortex-M support, this is Cortex-A? No, no, this is Cort both Cortex-A. Of course, this is a low-end platform with just 128 megs of RAM. Uh, Windows 10 requires a bit more, so we have 2 gigs of RAM. And also we have Linux. Everything is talking with Azure IoT Hub. So. Nice. I'm going to check the Cortex boost later. I'll do a video over there. Okay, okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, there, over there in that wall, you have lots of uh, things. Yes. Let's walk near that one. There's a lot of lot of things here. Yes. All so running uh, Windows. So this is a lot of devices running on Windows, uh, Windows and Windows 10. And you can see a lot of POS devices, a lot of uh, gateways, and uh, also a lot of different, like a lot kind of of different kinds. That's what, that one looks interesting. IPAN M7, Keith, Keith and Cook. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410e. So that's the long-term support, extreme long-term uh, support. Nice. I go over here. <laughs> okay, it'll be soft if it come under this. Is, is there any chance I can jump in? Uh, this is a, a Snapdragon 410e. Yes. What does it do? What is it for? You have a... What is this UI? Special UI on the Windows. Windows 10 IoT Core solution. Right. And uh, this is very compact like this. Sorry, I'm yeah. jumping in. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Let me jump, jump around here. Do you want to see an industrial yeah. automation scenario? You have an Vantec doing uh, stuff. Yeah. 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 But I don't want to jump in and interrupt the yeah, customers too so much. But yeah. uh, so uh, next year, maybe even bigger booth, right? More and more <laughs> stuff happening. Yes. With, uh, lo just partners. You just highlighted yes. a lot of partners. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. It is Microsoft is uh, has a huge partner ecosystem. To develop IoT solutions, you just need that, and uh, we're just growing with our partners. 